much. Adrian Chisale, my name, supervised by Dr. Lightning Piri. Topic, investigating approaches for automatically generating recurring thesis and citations metadata for higher education institutions. Uh, outline is as presented, as shown there. Introduction. This research project was born out of a realization of new trends in the management of ETDs at national level. Notable example, uh, the development of ETD uh, portal for South Africa and also the other ETD for uh, Indian repositories, Short Ganga. Now, the need uh, for Zambia not to be left behind led to a launch of a uh, Zambian national ETD portal in order to manage uh, their research uh, the ETDs at a national level. Problem statement. A higher quality ETD is a necessity for a digital object. However, uh, findings from previous scholars have, uh, like Suleiman has indicated that a poor ETD metadata is one of the challenges that uh, global downstream services are facing with. However, the extent has not been looked into from Zambian perspective as uh, these IRs are new establishment, hence this research. General objectives, to identify sources, are sources of missing ETD metadata in IRs in Zambia, specific objective, identify higher education institutions that has functional and interoperable online institution posters in Zambia, to determine the relative quality of ETD metadata originating from higher education institutions in Zambia, and also to investigate the sources of missing elements from uh, for the automated generated using NLP techniques, which is natural language processing. Those were research questions that mirrored my uh, research, um, mirrored the, my objectives. Significance of study. Uh, it is hoped that this research would help to establish successive uh, national ETD portal that consolidates ETD metadata uh, from all higher education institutions. The literature reviews uh, was done relevant to the research project, which helped to put uh, this study in its perspective and also to provide gaps so that it, can, it could add to the existing knowledge uh, properly. Conceptual framework, uh, this uh, research was guided uh, by cross-industry standard process for data mining, uh, which has the six phases of which three were used, among which is due to uh, the setting of this uh, study. Methodology. The research design was used, uh, mixed, uh, under research design, the mixed approach was used. First objective, the target population was the librarians in charge of IARA and all uh, institutional posters in Zambia. Sample size, 122 librarians that comprise of two system librarians per higher education institutions and all higher education institutions that makes up 61 in Zambia. Sampling techniques, purposive sampling, and total uh, population sampling. Instruments. Structured questionnaire, same structures, phone interview so were used also. Data analysis, Google Sheet, and Microsoft, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Excel. Second objective, our target population was ETD metadata from all IRS in Zambia, sample size, or ETD metadata from all higher education institutions. Sampling techniques, stratified sampling, which was proportionate. Instruments, open archive initiative protocol for metadata harvester tool, and also manual downloading was used. Data analysis, Google Sheet, and content analysis. Second objective, we're investigating the missing of this, so, um, uh, missing met metadata elements. Target population was members of staff in charge of research in all health education institutions. Uh, ETD minutes. And policy documents that regress postgraduate uh, post trainings from all higher education institutions. Sample size, 56. ETDs, that is eight per higher education institutions, seven post documents, one per higher education institutions, and seven research coordinators, that is one per higher education institutions, sampling techniques, stratified sampling, and total population uh, sampling was used. Instruments, content analysis, and interviews. Data analysis, Google Sheet for quantitative content analysis. Limitations, this was limited to all higher education institutions that offers postgraduate programs, and also to be specific, those that have functional IRS. Research findings, first objective. Uh, at, the data, at the time of data correction, uh, Zambia has 61 higher education institutions. Uh, distribution, private, we had 52, public, nine. 
status of this IRS in Zambia, it was found that uh, out of 61, uh, only 10 higher education institutions had implemented IRS, leaving the one without IRS. Objective, uh, when we checked at functionality, functionality status of this IRS, it was found that out of 10 that in, implemented, uh, seven were functional, two non-functional, one without ETT content. Interoperability aspect of this IRS, it was found that 80% of them uh, didn't, uh, what, uh, did not uh, activate the open archive initiative protocol, leaving out only two activated, which were those ones that were interoperable. The quality analysis, situation analysis with UNS IRA, out of 4,003 records, it was discovered that contributor, digital coverage, and this, this is the delivery uh, elements were missing. However, it is also worth noting that there were some spotted now values amongst those elements that were used, which is subject, description, publisher, uh, creator, and uh, digital type. Similar analysis also was done with the Investor of Osaka, which shows that contributor, uh, five elements of which contributor, publisher, format, and also this is the type, uh, this is the delivery, sorry, was uh, missing in all elements. Now, when analyzing, uh, further analysis was also taken in two five uh, higher education institutions, among which shows that this is the degree uh, contributor were all missing in all high, on all these higher education institutions, indicating that all higher education institutions were not two minutes. ETT two minutes. metadata, which is de facto, uh, which is de facto uh, a schema for ETDs. First documents also were investigated to find out where these missing elements are located, among which is first documents, manuscripts were analyzed, and also the searches were, uh, for instance, the supervised elements were found to be uh, on title page of some manuscripts and was absent in other uh, uh, manuscripts. So these were some uh, first documents that were analyzed among which Murungushi, Invest, uh, Murungushi, University of Zambia, first documents were analyzed, and also manuscripts for Chalimbana, Lusaka manuscripts, uh, Lusaka University manuscripts were also analyzed, Unza were also analyzed. Now, the results showed that among, uh, amongst all the university, amongst all the higher education institutions, institutions, it was also found that University of Zambia and Chalimbana University lacked, did not have a uh, contributor element on their title page indicating that uh, those variations. However, these other uh, universities had those details on their title page. Conclusion, the identification of sources of missing entity metadata presents opportunity for, automat uh, for automatic generation of missing entity metadata elements. As a part of current and future work, natural language processing models are being developed to automatically generate missing entity metadata. All others in, uh, they were not also compliant with ETDMS. Recommendations among them, all higher education institutions must adopt de facto metadata standard, the ETDM is specialized for ETDs. There is need to design the intelligent system that would automatically generate the missing ETD metadata for uh, improved visibility. Uh, it is also worth noting that these findings were also published in two venues, one of which is, was in Serbia in 2022 and also in Gujarat, India, where I personally presented. Ten minutes, sir. Time's up. And these were references.